You must not go home. Because. In the hospital room just after giving birth, my four-year-old niece, who came to visit, appealed while looking at the baby. Actually, my niece has a mysterious power and can read the hearts of people and animals, they say. Did you hear something again? Asked my sister who came with us. Then she nodded while glancing at the baby. Is it possible that it's a warning from my baby? And when I heard my niece's next words, my body froze, and I came to know a terrifying truth that made me tremble. I, who had been a magazine model, met Henry, an actor five years older than me, and got married three years ago. At that time, people looked at us with a critical eye, saying that it was unusual for a prestigious actor to marry a model. However, Henry declared during a television wedding announcement. I will definitely make her happy. And my father, who was the president, enthusiastically supported his work. Even my mother-in-law stood in front of the media actively and said, There is no other wonderful bride like her. Protecting me. In fact, since my father's company was profitable, we generously supported Henry's family, who were entertainers. My father was particularly fond of my husband and supported Henry from behind with a large amount of money. Eventually, the criticism from society subsided, and we enjoyed a happy married life for a while. However, just six months after the registration, my father suddenly became ill and passed away. I couldn't show him his grandchild's face, seeing me depressed, my father-in-law kindly said. Take your time to rest. After that, my father's company went out of business, and my sister and I were busy cleaning up. Naturally, our home couldn't financially support my husband as it used to. But, now it's my turn to support Henry firmly with my skills, I overcame the sadness of losing my father and renewed my determination. However, after the procedures for closing my father's company were completed, my mother-in-law and husband changed their attitude completely. If you can't provide money, at least give birth to an heir quickly. I chose the wrong wife even though there were other good women. My mother-in-law started to treat me harshly, and my husband hardly came home anymore. Could it be that my marriage to Henry was because of my father's support? I felt a slight unease, but since he was from a distinguished family, having an heir was certainly an important issue. I thought it was natural to be asked for such a thing, so I started managing my health and going to the clinic for fertility treatment. And, thanks to my efforts, I soon became pregnant with a boy. My mother-in-law and husband were overjoyed. Maybe now I've fulfilled my responsibilities as a wife. I felt relieved that I was able to meet my mother-in-law's expectations, and I thought we could return to our previous relationship with my husband. Unaware of the terrifying plan they had in mind. After that, I safely gave birth to a boy. Now the succession problem is solved. Really, if it had been a girl, I wouldn't be able to look at her. Although I felt a little uneasy about their words, Seeing them so excited made me happy too. Both my mother-in-law and husband came to visit the hospital room many times and said, hurry up and bring the grandson home. Thankful for their anticipation, I thought my child would be happy too. Seeing my son, who was accepted by the family, made me very happy. And between visits from my mother-in-law and Henry, my sister and four-year-old niece Noah also came to visit me. Congratulations, Auntie. Niece, who earnestly conveyed her congratulations like lines from a school performance. My sister laughed beside her and said. She practiced saying it many times last night. Noah ran up with a smile and peeked at the face of the baby I was holding. However, the next moment, she looked puzzled, tilted her head, and whispered to the baby. The baby must not go home. With a solemn expression, 
My niece explained that it was a message from the baby. Actually, Noah has a mysterious power and seems to hear the voices of people and animals' hearts. The dog says it's like hearts. It's a story I heard from my sister before, but one day, Noah pointed to the front leg of a neighborhood dog. Worried, the owner immediately took it to the animal hospital, and it turned out that the dog had a broken bone, as Noah had said. Because it didn't show any signs of pain, no one noticed it. Because the dog told me. At that time, Noah explained like that and surprised everyone. My sister also says, I think it's just a coincidence if it happens once, but it's strange because it happens so many times. Moreover, when a plumber who came to the house said there was a water leak, Noah displayed her mysterious power again. This person is not from a plumbing company. There is no water leak. Liars are bad. The visitor who was surprised by Noah's shouting from behind my sister immediately ran away. I heard. Surprised to see that, my sister immediately called the plumbing company. Then, they said, The problem has not been reported. It might be a fake pretending to be our plumber which he has been increasing recently. This incident led to the arrest of the fraudster. Since Noah declared that the baby must not go home that day and showed her mysterious power, I couldn't ignore it. You can't ignore what Noah says. My sister and I exchanged glances and decided to listen to the story in detail. If the baby goes home, Auntie won't be able to see him anymore. I widened my eyes at Noah's unexpected words. And the story didn't end there. After that, Noah began to talk about something that made my body freeze. What? What does that mean? After listening to everything, I trembled with anger and made a determination for the sake of my beloved son. From that day on, to confirm whether Noah's story was actually happening, I started gathering information. I listened to stories from my father's friends that had same hobbies who came to visit, looked at my father's notebook that my sister brought, and made phone calls to acquaintances. My mother-in-law and husband came to the hospital room without prior notice, so I was worried whether I could gather evidence properly, but somehow managed to handle it well. As a result, sadly, I found out that all of Noah's words were true. And finally, on the day of discharge, I was hospitalized for a slightly longer period of 10 days due to severe postpartum anemia, but I was burning with fighting spirit to protect my child. Oh my, finally discharged? You shouldn't just laze around here forever. It's just anemia, you're making a big deal out of it. Try harder with more determination. My mother-in-law and husband entered the room noisily complaining. Henry, without paying attention to me, tried to pick up the baby and leave, and just as he reached out his hand towards me, I shook off my husband's hand with a snap. Don't touch my son. I won't go home. I'm going to divorce you. Both my mother-in-law and husband were taken aback by the suddenness of it all. You know if I go home like this, the child will be taken away from me, and I'll be kicked out, right? The two looked at each other and laughed as if mocking me. Henry pretended to be clueless, but I immediately played the recorded audio I had. This child is needed as a successor, but we don't need a wife who won't be a cash cow. And following, my husband in the audio also said, Let's harass her as much as possible and kick her out of the house. Laughing. What's this? When did you record this? This is the conversation you had when I wasn't in the room. Actually, on the day when my niece revealed the plan of my mother-in-law and husband to drive me out, I thought, could it be? But my sister suggested, you might be able to record some indiscreet remarks. 
so I installed a bug in the private hospital room. Then, I recorded voices of them discussing how to drive me out. You said you'd use my room as a warehouse in the backyard. Ha! Huh. What are you talking about? Ha ha ha! There's no need to pretend. You're going to lock it up, aren't you? All those conversations are recorded too. Confronted with unexpected evidence, my mother-in-law and husband started sweating profusely. I don't want this. There's no way you're serious, right? Yeah, finally the successor was born, and I was just excited. I got carried away and said things I didn't mean. Although the two of them desperately tried to cover it up, such lies wouldn't work. Ah, that's right. So, you have wealthy fans, but I heard you are going to marry one of their daughters next? This was also a story I heard from Noah. She mentioned the existence of another woman as well. A new mommy is coming. Noah hinted at the presence of another woman for Henry. Hearing my niece's words, I was shocked to the point of collapsing. Indeed, in the world of actors, influential fans often play a significant role, and they may even meddle in the actors' marriages. Surely, someone approached them, and my mother-in-law and husband were trying to discard me, a woman without money, and switch to another wealthy daughter. If a boy is born to the next mommy, they won't need this baby either. With a sad expression, Noah looked down. Remembering that day, I said, I know everything. And I glared at the two of them. My mother-in-law and husband, unaware of my niece's mysterious ability, were momentarily surprised but soon became defiant. Oh, it must be hormonal imbalance after childbirth causing delusions. Seriously, stop talking nonsense. I was utterly disgusted by the two of them who refused to acknowledge their scheming, so I made a phone call. As the dial tone rang and the call connected, a woman's voice came from the speaker of my smartphone. What are you doing? As my husband tilted his head in confusion, the woman said, Henry, I'm sorry. I have feelings for someone else. The marriage proposal was pushed forward by our parents. I can't marry you. And she rejected my husband. In fact, as I listened to my niece's story and gathered information, my father's friends told me that there were discussions about marriage around my husband. Moreover, the woman I was informed about turned out to be my friend. Her parents were also theater enthusiasts, members of the fan club, and close friends with my father. Since the parents were close, naturally, we, the daughters, became close too, and now we are best friends. I immediately called her in surprise, but even my friend said, I had no idea, and was astonished. When my friend questioned her parents with a fierce expression, it was revealed that her mother had been proceeding without permission. Changing your mind so suddenly? Doesn't it seem fishy? Despite being thrown into turmoil by the sudden turn of events, the two blamed my friend on the other end of the phone. Their desperation to not lose their cash cow was plain to see. What are you saying? Who's the one being suspicious here? Isn't it strange to prepare for the next marriage without even getting divorced? When I confronted them with reason, the two of them made bitter faces and clicked their tongues. Oh, you're such a troublesome girl. Do you really think someone without connections can survive in this industry? You need money for showbiz. Poor people who don't understand that should keep quiet. Cornered, my mother-in-law and husband lashed out. It's no use trying to silence me with force. As I stared back at them with a strong gaze, the sound of the hospital room door opening echoed. Well, 
Well. The world of theater has become quite filthy, hasn't it? Suddenly appearing was my father-in-law. My mother-in-law and Henry, who they thought that he was in the countryside for a park visit, widened their eyes. They tried to hide behind each other, pushing and shoving. Just three days ago, I consulted with my father-in-law about the results of my investigation, and as expected, he hadn't been informed about anything. My father-in-law was furious and, in between his speeches, For the sake of my precious daughter-in-law. He came to support me. Hey, you two, she and her father, have been supporting us for a long time, haven't they? Is it all about money in the end? There's no loyalty or gratitude. My father-in-law glared at the two of them. Seeing their intensity, the two trembled and shrank back in silence. I don't want to be separated from my child. I'm getting a divorce. As I pleaded tearfully, my father-in-law nodded. Yeah, yeah. I don't intend to let someone like this succeed me. Henry, you're no longer my disciple. Ha! Huh. Dad, why are you suddenly saying this? Surprised by the sudden declaration, my bewildered husband started to panic. No way. Both me and Henry were doing this for the future of the theater world. Despite wailing, my mother-in-law clung desperately, but my father-in-law pushed her away and yelled. Thinking that doing such horrible things would benefit the theater world is a big mistake. There are plenty of excellent actors who can succeed without being inhumane. Actors don't need monsters. I will raise my child with words of love, not words of contempt. That's right. And with that, my father-in-law took my hand boldly, and we left the hospital room with the baby. Panicked by being abandoned, the two clung to me, but it was too late. Wait, I'll apologize. It's my fault. There's no one else for me but you. However, such superficial apologies would never reach my ears. What you loved was ultimately not the theater but money. Before I knew it, a single tear was streaming down my cheek. Thinking of my father, who had earnestly supported my husband for the future of the theater, I couldn't help but feel bitter. We'll never meet again. Goodbye. I said this to the dumbfounded pair, then, holding my son, I left the hospital room with my father-in-law. After that, indeed, the two were kicked out of the house. I received $20,000 in compensation, divorced Henry, and he and my mother-in-law retreated from the glamorous stage. Recently, their shabby appearance was captured by paparazzi and became fodder for tabloid shows. Meanwhile, I resumed my job as a model. My magazine column, where I talked about parenting in a down-to-earth manner, became very popular. My father-in-law still visits my son often. Adored by the child, my father-in-law is also affectionate. He's now the heartthrob of our household. How was today's story? Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Well then, let's meet in the next video.